turban is back. It is Sunday, October 28th, the fourth day, I don't even know anymore, of Witchathon. I have two more books to read. Uh, and like I mentioned before, I really want The Girl Who Drank the Moon to be my last one. I've been hearing really great things about it on Twitter. Everyone says it's magical, it's adorable, it's everything a mid-grade should be, so I'm really excited. But I gotta hold off. Uh, I got some other boring adult things to do today. Dishes and laundry and grocery shopping. And then there's a WWE pay-per-view tonight because there just hasn't been quite enough wrestling in this vlog yet. So let's add a little bit more. <laughs> Um, I'm hopefully going to get started on some reading while I wait for my hair to dry, uh, and I will talk to you in a bit. You know what it's like to be on a book buying ban with all those books? This is torture. We are finally back from running errands. I managed to read a little bit of Gretel, um, mostly on my phone while we were like standing in line or I was waiting in the car or whatever. It's a long time because we had to go to like four different places. Um, currently 28% through, so about a third. I haven't really hit any really scary notes yet. I mean, the description called it a thriller and the cover's all creepy and stuff, but I've yet to really see any of that. Um, it might just be a slow burn. I don't know. It, it still is fairly interesting and I'm, I'm still interested in it. Um, just haven't seen the thriller part yet. And I'd really like this to be a thriller since that's what the the readathon calls for. I did get a lighter too, so I can read by um Candlelight tonight, but I still want to read The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Candlelight, so I might switch to that tonight and just leave this again in pieces. Um but I will check in with you in a bit. Alright, it is 10 p.m. on Sunday night, and I am finally going to start reading by candlelight. Um I've actually been working on Gretel, and give or take halfway through, still not seeing any serial killer aspects from it. Um, but who knows? Maybe there's going to be like the last fourth is just going to be insanely scary. Who knows? Um, but I'm actually going to start reading *The Girl Who Drank the Moon* because reading an ebook by candlelight just doesn't seem to make any sense. Um, so I'm going to do only a little bit. A, I don't want to get too far in before I finish Gretel, and B, um, I don't know how conducive reading by candlelight actually is. So, just a little bit. Um, but I'm excited to do it. I haven't done it in, I think, since I was a kid. But, yay, what you thought? <laughs> my reading by candlelight it was fun would not do it for a long period of time and I'm also kind of bummed because I really want to keep reading the girl who drank the moon um I only got like 18 pages in but it, it just seems very nicely written it, it's very much one of those adorable children's fantasies and I've heard great things about it on twitter I've heard a bunch of people talking about how beautiful it is and charming and I can already see that in a little bit I've read but I gotta stick to it I gotta finish Gretel first and then move to that one. But uh, it reads pretty quick, so, uh, so I'm pretty sure I can get through it fairly easily and still maybe be done a day early. You're so Um, But beyond that, probably I'm just going to chill out for the rest of the night. Done a lot today. Got to do a lot tomorrow. So, uh, good night. All right, it is Monday, October 29th. It is my last day off work, uh, so I'd love to say that I'm going to spend the entire day in and reading, but I have more errands to run. <laughs> got to get oil changed. I've got to go to the um, DMV for a thing. It's going to be a thing. Um, I'll try to read while I'm waiting in line or waiting in the waiting room or whatever, because um, I am still working through my ebook. So fingers crossed. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of that now. See if I can't just get ahead of the curve. I really need to finish it today because I really want to have two full days um, to read The Girl Who Drank the Moon. Um, I don't think it'll take me two full days. I got through the 20 pages pretty fast, but I don't want to risk it. <laughs> so here's open. I'll check in with you in a bit. I'm home for my errands. They took a little bit longer than I was. Um, well, one of them took a little bit longer than I was expecting. One of them took way shorter. I have been reading a little bit more of Gretel. I don't know why I'm not 
clicking with it as much as I thought. There have been some really big um, reveals and some twists that are kind of cool, but it's like, I can't, I'm not like desperate to know uh, what's going to happen next, which is not how a thriller is supposed to work, but the thriller elements are coming out. Um, I'm about 60% of the way through, so I'm going to eat lunch, um, and I'm probably just going to like sit down and like power through for at least an hour or so, um, because I do have to start making dinner earlier tonight. I'll get through it. Adulting aside, I will get through it. I will check in with you in a bit. Finally finished Gretel. It really picked up at the end. I'm happy I kept with it. Um, might continue the series, might not, but it's not even 2 p.m. and I've already finished my fourth book. One more to go, and if I start it today, I'll have it done well in time. I'm doing really good. <laughs> Check in with you in a bit. Only home. Ignore my hair. It's disgusting. Um, today was my first day back at work after the break, so I haven't done a lot of reading. I didn't really get up that early this morning, um, but I still need to finish The Girl Who Drank the Moon, and I'm really excited for it. But I kind of need a chance just to chill out for a hot minute before I start it. But hopefully, I should get at least halfway through it tonight. I figure if I power through, I should be able to. Fingers crossed. I feel really bad because this part of the vlog is way more boring than the first part that I had, like, you know, reading by candlelight and wrestling shows, and this is just me kind of wrapping it up. Um, but I've got to page 200 of The Girl Who Drank the Moon, which is over halfway through. Um, pretty quick read. It is mid-grade. Um, but I... I really want to save the other half for tomorrow. I feel like finishing this exactly on Halloween um, instead of a day early feels more appropriate. Um, so I'm probably going to go with that. But it's really good. It's really cute. Um, not quite what I thought it was. The character of Antane or Antane um, is a lot more in depth than I thought he would be. A lot more of his backstory rather than just some random guy that decided to go after a witch. Um, it's very well written. I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to finishing it, um, and to finishing my first readathon. Uh, so that's all for today. Hopefully I'll do a little bit more tomorrow on the actual Halloween. Um, so for that, uh, good night. Finally here, finally here, Halloween, the last day of Witchathon. I'm wearing my spooky shirt and I've got the second half of The Girl Who Drank the Moon to finish. Um, probably gonna finish. I also gotta double check, uh, when the trick-or-treating starts, because we are giving out candy and making up for lost childhood. I never got to go trick-or-treating. Um, so I'm gonna get some reading done before then. Probably some chilling out. Might have to make dinner at some point. I don't know. I got a lot of stuff to do tonight. I'll check in with you in a bit. Quick check-in, and my hair is the worst right now. I am at page 328 of... The Girl Who Drank the Moon, and I am in love. I am in love. Um, it's a lot more intricate than I thought it was. There's so many more, so many, so much more in the way of extra plot lines all weaving together and and different characters meeting and having connections that you didn't know about. And I'm loving it. Like, I'm not that far from the end at all. And I almost, like, want to relish it. I almost want to, like, slow down. Um... Which is probably a good thing because it is currently 5 o'clock. Trick-or-treating starts at 5.30 here. And I want to get everything together. I also want to get dinner started um, before all that goes. So I got stuff to do. <laughs> um, but I'll probably be reading. I'll easily finish this tonight. Um, I'm so glad. I'm so close to being done. And I will have completed my first readathon. I will check in with you in a bit. We are about an hour and a half into the trick-or-treating. Uh, my husband already had to go run out to get another bag because we were almost out. But of course now it's all dying down. We've got about half an hour left still. Uh, so I'm kind of just chilling out. Uh, we have a friend here. Hello. My friend Tim. Nice guy. Now we're watching some wrestling on TV. It's, it's Halloween themed. But, um... Just for anyone who w didn't get enough wrestling in my last vlog, I thought you might want more. <laughs> um, so I haven't gotten a chance to finish the book yet. I'm working on it. But uh, it's been a pretty good night so far, and I will check in with you in a bit. Trick or cheating is officially over, at least mostly over. Um, I'm letting my husband take care of the rest of it if there's any last-minute trick-or-treaters. It's not really 
gotta get to reading. I want to finish this before too late. I don't want to be like rushing to finish it um, when it's super late at night. And also, I just really want to know how it ends. So I will catch up with you in a little bit. Hopefully, when I've finished all of this. Did it? Oh, that's upside down. I finished The Girl Who Drank the Moon. It was adorable. I just loved it. It was the best that mid grade has to offer. Um, probably going to hold off on doing the full overview um, until tomorrow and then get this thing posted. Of course, NaNoWriMo also starts. So, oh, so much to do. So much to do in my day. Um, but I'm loving it. So I'm so excited. I have finished my first readathon. I got it all vlogged. I'm so jazzed. Um, so thank you so much for coming with me on this journey. I know it was a little weird and it was my first. So I apologize for any weirdness or recording things wrong. Um, but I'm just so happy I did this. I'm so happy it was my first. And I'm going to jump into NaNoWriMo tomorrow with both feet. So as you're watching this, I am probably already drowning in a sea of words that I wrote myself. So uh, be sure to reach out and give a like or uh, just, you know, a nice comment wishing me luck. I'm writing my own book after that. Uh, but I will check in with you tomorrow to give the final wrap up and everything. Bye. All right, time for a really quick wrap up because I don't have that much time today. It's November 1st. I got to get to writing. First up, A Discovery Rip Witches by Deborah Harkness. I went into this expecting a five stars. I got about a four stars. Uh, not too upset. It was just a lot more romance than I thought. And including um, what my book buddy Hell Pixie termed a twilight moment. Where the main character Diana gets very like weepily distant without her you know, romantic partner. So eh. But beyond that, four stars very good. I will not be continuing the series immediately. But will in the near future. Up next was Forbidden Forest by Michael Cadnam, a continuation of a previous book by him that I have not read. Um, I, you did not need to to understand this, but there definitely were some little hidden things. Uh, I moved very quickly because it was only about 200 pages. Um, so there were definitely some things, uh, the romance in particular, that I would have liked to see more in depth. But 200 pages, can't expect all too much from that. And it did give me more action that I'd been hoping for with The Discovery of Witches. Up next, I did my Harley Quinn romance, Sawyer by Dolores Fossen. Fossen, I still don't know how to pronounce that. Um, much better than I, I was expecting. A lot more action in most cases when there's a kidnapping involved on the back. It's just for the man to realize that he has feelings for the woman or whatever. It's always the woman getting kidnapped. It's Daphne, it's Princess Peach, it's every other generic female kidnapping story. But... Um, I did enjoy it. Um, not much more than I thought I would. I was pleasantly surprised, but it is a Harley Quinn romance, so I hadn't been expecting all that much. Um, but I did like it. I love books that you can read in an afternoon and then be like, ha, I read a book in an afternoon. Up next was, see if I can get the lighting right here, Gretel by Christopher Coleman, my ebook. Um, like I mentioned before, the thriller aspects were a little bit slow for me to get into at the beginning. I did like the end. Um, there was a twist I liked. That was really nice. Um, it didn't grip me. I'm not too desperate to read the next one. It didn't actually leave off on that big of a cliffhanger. Like if I didn't know it was a series going into it, I wouldn't assume it is. Um, so I don't know. Um, if I do continue the series, it probably won't be in time soon. Oh, and the other books in A Discovery of Witches, um, I think it's a trilogy. Uh, probably not going to jump into that one either. I got to get more of my own books read. And, uh, last was The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. I loved this book so much. It was so cute. The magic was just explained enough to make sense, but not so overly explained that it lost its magic the um what you assume is the primary antagonist um actually turns out that he has his own reasons for hating the witch and and he's actually a lovable character in himself the actual witch zan and luna and all the characters are so lovable Fyrian and glerk and, and even the non-humanoid ones were so cute it was well it's the first mid-grade i've read in a while but um i love it it reminds me what i loved about mid-grade when i was in middle school and I, w I work in an elementary school now, and I would suggest that 
uh, book for the elementary library in a heartbeat. Um, but that's the books I've read, all five, and I did the tally uh, for the actual pages, and I have read 1,785 pages this week. Um, that's not even as many. I've read over 3,000 this month. Um, I really, really underestimated myself when I set these goals to meet for reading. Can't really change them right now, though, because it is currently November, which means I am jumping into NaNoWriMo. I will be blogging that a little bit. Not quite as much. I'll probably be doing little chunks altogether in, like, two-week spans for a vlog rather than a whole week or two in a week. Um, mostly because it's hard when you can't actually talk about what you're writing about in depth. Like, you don't want to have spoilers. Um, but I'm really excited for that. Um, so be on the lookout for a nano vlog if you're into that kind of thing. Be sure to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed coming along this journey with me. Um, I've gotten a lot of uh, comments and likes from my newbie book tag or booktube newbie tag. I can speak words. Um, and that's been so much fun. Uh, so with nothing else to say, I hope you have a wonderful day and a marvelous tomorrow.